Arsenal have taken the title race to the final day of the season. This season, they've actually got more wins than the Invincible side managed. And yet, that side won the, no. po- won the league by 11 points. This side might not even win the league. Mate, we, it's not just the Invincibles. We, we've got the most wins. And that lasts without what's going to happen on Sunday, home to Everton, by the way. Uh-huh. 27 wins. The club, in its history has never won that many games in a season. It's like Arteta said it yesterday. He goes, we've not made progress. We've made history. You might actually have like the best performing team ever for your club and still not win a fucking title. That's the power of Man City. But let, let's focus on the positives. It's it's great right now. One one negative would be Spurs have literally got your whole fucking club season in their hands. By the balls, bro. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. It's horrible. I've got City fans DMing me saying they're worried about that game. They, I mean, they haven't won in the league at that stadium, but no, you've done your league, lap no. of honour. You've done your lap of honour. Yep. <laughs> Mate, I... <laughs> Would that not be the most Spursy thing ever, though, to like beat City and have a great result, but then hand the It's the off. most beautiful way we could win the league. That is the most beautiful. Like, like set second behind winning it at their ground, which we've done. But the second way would be them giving it to us. Bear, bear in mind, they wouldn't quite give it to us. Like If they drew, then we'd, we'd still have to win on Sunday and it'd go down to goal difference. But And the goal difference is close. What is it, three goals? It's, well, it, yeah, it's, it's three goals. But then bear in mind, like if, if they do draw, then they'd have one game head-to-head where they'd, they'd have West Ham at their place, we'd have Everton at ours, and it'd be head-to-head. They've got to have four goals clear more than us. Uh-huh. So we'd have to, you know, we, if we won 1-0, they'd have to win 5-0. So West Ham, would, West Ham do have a tendency to get pumped 5-0, though. It's up oh, three times have, this have, season. Have, have, you, have you seen Moise's comments today? He, 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 they've gone, do you reckon there's any chance of you of you beating Man City and stopping their title? He goes, I don't know if we'd be able to beat their under-14s, but we're going to try and be professional. Wow. No, <laughs> Try and be professional, mate. That's what he said. <laughs> They're going to try and be professional. Mate, bear in mind, yeah, for West Ham, that's that's the manager that's won them a European title. There's going to be thousands of their fans travelling to Manchester to see him off in his final game. And the best he can come out with is we're going to be professional. Arsenal have got no friends in London. <laughs> Fucking Fulham are flying kite. That was brilliant. What the fuck? Why does no one try and... I don't get this. I know we're here to talk about Arsenal for a minute, right? Why does no one try and beat City? We all watched the Forest game. Fucking Chris Wood, if he could finish his dinner, they'd have beaten him. Since then, everyone just rolls over and has their tummy oh, They try, ready, they try, but it's easier said than done, man. It's Manchester City. They're like a phenomenal team. We've been listening to Craig in the group chat being like, I hope they throw it. Is that really... Are you praying that they throw the game? I want to put a real PSA out there for the Spurs players. Daniel Levy and Postokoglu and everyone at the club please throw the game all right <laughs> for every lily white up and down the country on the globe for everyone that's ever purchased a ticket to see Beyonce Travis Scott <laughs> Lady Gaga at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium hey, hey. for anyone that's been chick king and kept all the local <laughs> businesses alive all right for anyone that did that stupid thing where you can go on top of the stadium and then paraglide down <laughs> okay You have to throw this game. We can't let the Gooners lift a trophy. It's been 20 years. They are starving for a trophy. And we waited 60 years. And we're going to let them break it after 20 years. No, they need to go 60 years as well. The thing with this Arsenal team that... It's not going to be 60 years because we keep getting better. Definitely. This is this is the biggest credit Arteta deserves is every season they get better. Last year, there was a lot of people after last year where we, you know, we I, I think we did bottle it a little bit. There's a lot of people saying, could Arsenal get better than this? Is this going to, are they even going to compete mm-hmm. next season? We're, we're even better. And I think we're going to get even better next season as well. You, you can see where we can get better. Yeah. It's fairly easy. Like, mate, like starting left winger, start of the season, Martinelli has given us, I think, six goals. Mm-hmm. Gabriel Jesus started the season as, as our striker. He's, he's given us four goals in the league. Every game that we've lost, it's been because we've had Kai Havertz at eight and Declan Rice at six. We've slowly worked out, put Kai Havertz up front. Declan Rice needs a mate in midfield. At the moment, that mate in midfield is Thomas Partey, who couldn't fucking run yesterday, and Jorginho, who's 33, right? You get a proper partner for Declan Rice in midfield. We're linked to Bruno Guimaraes. You've shot the fuck. We're, we're, we're linked to Frankie de Jong. Mate, you put one of those players in that midfield, it's the best midfield in the world. We haven't had a left back all season. We we have to give credit to Kai Havertz. 19 goals and assists this He's season. Brilliant. I'm 
I mean, we've worked him out. We've worked him out. He's, he's a striker. Brilliant. He's a striker, and, he, and mate, he, he's like a Bobby Firmino, yeah, isn't exactly, he? He's, exactly. He's, he's not exactly there it. as a main striker. He's there to disrupt. He's there to help create for the uh, the wide players, and he offers a lot. He offers so much, uh, man. And, it, and it's, you know, it was interesting comparing him to Hoyland yesterday because I, I hear so many people saying about Hoyland that he doesn't get the service, but it, mate, it works both ways. Who, he, who does Hoyland service? Who he, does Hoyland help? Whereas yeah. Havertz makes everyone around him better. The, there is the worry. The fact that I get like we're seeing another team come as, as when Jurgen Klopp came with Liverpool, doing unbelievable things and st- like potentially still not winning two leagues in a row, which c- could if it wasn't for Man City, you clean up right the last two seasons. There's a real worry of like, are we capitalising? And it, you can almost be as great as you want, and it not even matter. That's the sad that's, thing. That's the thing. When you say about it's coming, well, like, yeah. is it coming? You know what I mean? You say you say it's coming, yeah, well, because you've got the best Arsenal side you've had in 20 years. Mm. Liverpool had the best side they've had in 40 years. Didn't mean it was coming. They won one league out of seven or so where they were probably the next best team. And, and they had a higher points total than we did. Yeah, they, they, they One did. season, they lost one game all season and didn't win the league. One game. And there's, didn't there's nothing win Arsenal the league. can do to help this. I understand. It's out of your control. It's Man City, yeah. But when we're saying it's coming, it's like, yeah, of course, logically it's coming. But is it? But also, is it no, but also, also, it was in their control because if you beat Aston Villa at home, yeah. which really you should have done because you're better than them and you're at home, you are above Man City right now. And that's the tiny margin. That was margin. the game that fucked the, you the up. The tiny margin is when Man City get it where we can say it's in their control, never, never, never slips. That's what I'm saying. Everyone's looking at Man City step saying, oh, they're, you know, they're invincible and all of these sorts of things. It's hard to take them down. Like I said, Arsenal were not in pole position, but like I said, if you beat Aston Villa right now, you would be top of the league. All I can look and at they, all I can look at is the fact that we're going to get better next season and I think we will be. But then I think what we're missing is man, this was Man City's off-season. Yeah. That's the matter. They're going to walk away potentially with one or well, hopefully one trophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully one trophy. They're going to walk away with one trophy and that's a bad day. That's a bad season for Man City. Man City are going to reinvest. Wait, wait, they lost. Why? Wait, can I, sorry to cut you off. Why is everyone saying this is a bad season? Because when you actually Well, look they had at, the worst start. I'm talking about in terms of... They've lost of, two games. This is what I'm season. saying. But again, for Man City, you know is when... Is it two? I think it's you know three, when they were, yeah. Is it three? Yeah, it's we three. beat them. I think it was the way the season started, but I Ooh. think, was there a lot of draws? Did they get a lot of draws? Something happened. Three where, games and this is a bad and you're saying this is, is a bad mate, season. They, they, They've they, lost five. They wouldn't be on this points total if they if they'd lost loads of games, if they'd drawn loads of games. They, like City you've been fucking brilliant. Let's be honest with ourselves. I They've remember saying brilliant. that. No, but I remember early in the season, if you go back, watch the tape and stuff, there was moments when we're like, our oh, City, we're talking about the um the players that they let go and the new players that they haven't replaced. We were saying, Well, I don't think these lot are gonna be ready to really This compete. is what Brian said, and I there told you, go, you and Brian. And you and said and when Morris and Gundogan left, yep, yep. they weren't replace and some people at the table were saying Cole Palmer letting him go was a big issue and I said it's Pep mm-hmm. do not mm-hmm. doubt yeah. Pep he will find a way he hasn't found a way yet I mean he hasn't found a way yet it's not some, done some it's of that though, what I will say is I think that City aren't as good this season as they were last season. I completely stand by that. I think yeah. uh, there's a there's a reason why Arsenal pushed them to the last day of the season. I think part of it's Arsenal, part of it is City. But mm-hmm. Pep's kind of gotten away with it. Because... I, I disagree with you. But go for I, it. I think they've got better. You think uh, City have got better? Defensively, they have. I think they've changed. I think if you actually look at the team they were last season, mm-hmm. a lot of what they were doing, they still had Jao Cancelo coming in and out. I remember they came to the Emirates, they played Bernardo Silva left back. I think what they've changed, Vardy old, by the way. Wow. Mate. Wow. Stay, pe- people need to start deleting tweets because a few months ago I was seeing flop of the season. Was, Brother, was, like, mm. people just misunderstand what that player is. People think he's some big fucking lump. People think he's some big centre back. He's a God. baller. He's a baller. Like, technically, he's unreal. And, and he's the, so way, young. the way Pep has used him further up the pitch Take than anyone him. expected, he's a serious player. Akanji's been one of their players of the season, by the way. He came in for fuck all money. That is one of the best centre backs. Foden stepped up this season. Foden a lot of people up. asked Foden at the beginning of the season to They've step been up, good. become Mate. that player and he's become that player Holland, that all, all the questions everyone point. ask of Haaland he's still going to I reckon he's walking away with that golden boot Haaland I still. think you make a good point about defensively City have improved yep. I just mean as an attacking force I found them more frightening the year before I think mm. the fact that they well I think the Champions League is living proof of, of the, the slight 
issue that they had of when it was time to break Real Madrid down, if you've got Gundogan, Mahrez, Cole Palmer, they, they will do that. We're talking about a missed that, penalty. No, no, no. no, no. The reality we're, we're is, not, the reality like, you can't, I, I hear what you're saying, but you, you can't say that they really struggled they, in, a, in a fixture where they just went out on penalty. But Brian's right. Factually, if they won a treble last season and this season they're just about scraping to win a Premier League, then they aren't as good as they were last season because they won, they were treble winning. I think you've improved as well, though. That's, that's this, part. The, I, I think part of the reason they haven't won as much is because there's other teams around who are better now. Like this, this Real Madrid team and not them out are a much better Real Madrid team than the Real Madrid team yeah. last The specific problem that I'm saying with the team this season that I thought was the issue was the, the clutch players who get the ball over the line when it does feel really hard those are the players in that Real Madrid game who probably would have sorted that out for them that's just the way I see yeah. it But then when you look at it like, like you said Haaland's still there he's potentially going to win a golden boot to me the player of the season, my player of the season is in their team, which is Rodri. That guy hasn't lost a game this season. What? He's the only player that hasn't lost a game <laughs> yeah. this season. Nah, nah, nah. And he's 27, by the way. Mm. That's he like, hasn't he lost better. a game of That's football. Or he's doing invincible solo missions. <laughs> <laughs> like, are we realising what's happening here? Like, we talk about the invincibles. Rodri ain't lost a game. He ain't lost a game in like how many games? Like 50 nah, something nah, games. Nah, he's taking the piss. He's, he's literally, it's up to like Feel Tony really Adams and, and, and... You know what we're saying? This, something though. ridiculous. Am I the only one though? Like, and I, I've spoken to other mates like watch football New, up Newcastle and all that way. Fuck me, they're boring. Man yeah. City. Like, like and, and watching the Fulham game, it was one of the most boring experiences in my footballing life. I I, I was like, well, what am I doing here? Yeah. Like, like the, the whole point of watching a football match isn't because I expect Fulham to win. I expect to see somewhat of a competitive game of football. Yes, I expect City to put a few past them, just like Real Madrid would put a few past a, a, a team of a similar standard. But it's more of a compelling game. It's more mm -hmm. the, the fact that Fulham had one shot at home for 90 minutes. And by the way, they got half time with zero shots. Yep. It's pathetic. And what the problem is, is when people say it's the greatest league in the world, it, it just feels like bullshit because I, when I'm watching City, I'm thinking you're playing at a mid table side in Fulham away. Mm. That should be somewhat of a challenge. It's yeah. not even close to a challenge. The gulf between Man City and Fulham, it should be all right. Yeah, you're clearly the better side, but Fulham, like I, I, I watched the Real Madrid game where they played a relegate, a team that were already relegated. Yeah, in La Liga they had seven shots against Real Madrid a team that are in, in mid-table Fulham don't even get more than one shot in their yeah. own ground it's Pep it's, it's, and I know it's Pep it, it, and part of you you have to go well done you're great but because the Premier League allowed City to do whatever the fuck they wanted for as long as they did Pep is, is a powerful genius in his own right but when you give him an unlimited budget and everything else it feels like you're watching Arsenal do unbelievable things this season and even that feels like a waste of time and I'm like yeah. greatest league in the world it, it doesn't feel like it it, it feels like it's not even competitive I, it's now, it's, sorry I, I was just saying it's now removing eras from having the titles they should as you say this Arsenal team most wins in the club's history and look there's a strong chance we walk away with nothing that, that, and, that, and that means it doesn't matter about and it, well, who remembers it that, no, it doesn't who matter. remembers it doesn't who matter. remembers it if we win the league this season incredible we get remembered as the fucking dominating Arsenal team who got more wins than they'd ever done in the club's history Arteta's the genius who overthrew Pep right in the same way that when Liverpool got 99 points they didn't win a league Arteta, we, we should be Arteta's about. legacy completely changes as a the the next wanger the next professor he's compared to the so one of the Klops. What, so does Klopp so does Klopp let's be honest I know there's not a Liverpool fan seeing it but we have to talk about that absolutely like Klopp should have walked away with more titles uh, that guy came in and changed why should he have because he did fucking unbelievable stuff he and it weren't enough but, but this it is, weren't enough it like, should I'm, be not enough. Having, I'm not it having should, tears for people it that... should be enough if everyone Good plays point. by the fucking rules here's the thing right it's not about dominating and I, I, I want to make it really clear it, I've enjoyed watching the Invincibles I've enjoyed watching Chelsea's great sides even my United when I, when I hated them. You didn't enjoy it. No, but it, it, I love to hate them, <laughs> right? You made me feel something. Yeah. It made me want to watch you lose because you there was nothing. parts in games where Man United would be playing heavy metal football yeah. and, it, and it, it gave me an interest in the game. It should not be mm. where multiple lads in multiple group chats are messaging me at 1-0 uh, uh, Fulham concede and everyone unanimously goes, stop, stop, stop it, fuck stop it, checking. Yeah. Uh, ignore it. it like, every, tell me a sport, right? Tell me any sport in the world where... Uh, 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 
two people or two teams that are fairly close in level have such a non-competitive sporting event. It, yeah. I've never known anything like it where if you watch tennis or any, any fucking sport, name it, where you literally have zero offense. Like it's not even, but then it's, you're not even getting the ball off them, man. Mm. It's, I just deal with this a sign at the times. It's like when MJ's at the, it's like when MJ's at the balls and there's great players. Charles Barkley can't say he won anything because he just had to deal with that. Mm. You have to deal with someone that is, you got Pep. It's not the same, you though, got Pep, you it's got Harlan, and, and they're going to get the job it's done. It's even worse than that, though. It's even, yeah. it's like, that's why I was racking my brains. I was thinking, this is fucking, the Premier League should be sued for fucking uh, false advertising. This isn't competitive sport. There's think, nothing competitive about I, that. I, 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 I want to provide, I want to provide the other, the other side of it, though, because like, we're saying it's not competitive. Arsenal pushing them to the very last day mm. to win a league. They said two horse race. It's, it's going down fun. to the last day. I look at other leagues, Real Madrid, PSG, all right, not Bayern Munich this season, but for the last 11 years, mm. these teams are walking those leagues and there's big point gaps between them and the rest of them. Mm. For the last few years, Liverpool have pushed Man City all the way to the end and made it competitive. So I don't want to say it's completely not competitive if they're being pushed all the way mm. and these other teams are having to get to 90 plus you, you points to make them win the league. It's still, it's still but, competitive. Whenever it was competitive. It's just there they're was, more clutch, Man City. Whenever there was a challenge... City always win that challenge. The only time City have lost the league in recent memory was when Liverpool ran away with it and we knew the title had gone by December. Mm. No one cared anyway. There wasn't even... So every single... Just to be clear, Liverpool have never won a title race against City. Mm. That wasn't a title race. City just fucked Pandemic it off. Pandemic season They fucked well, it off. Weird yeah. So every time anyone's gone head-to-head with Pep... In, in recent memory, the they've all, but, and, and I give credit for that, but equally, I mean, maybe this is also Pep as much as it's Man City's issue here, where it's like, I don't want to watch this anymore. Like, I, I, I've i never known a Premier League champion that I've hated watching more. And it's not because I hate the club or, or they piss me off. It's just dross to watch. It's like watching a keep ball training session. Why the fuck? It's like watching boxer spa. Yeah, you don't want to watch know, that. Yeah. You want to watch the real thing where it's a back and forth. He's, so you, didn't, you didn't like football. that body or golden? He's just do you know what I did like about it? Do you know what I did like about it? was nice. When a left, left side, left sided defender cuts inside and has a gaping fucking, was he Moses in there? Cause the fucking parted like the Red Sea. Well, it's pathetic. It's actually truly pathetic that that was allowed to happen. It's a great finish though. Yeah, it was a great But like, Fulham are, they're supposed to be a mid table side and it, within touching distance of them. And you're just letting think, them walk I think through. there's another side of it as well where we don't speak to the pressure that comes with being that team as well, though. Mm. So it's easy to say, like, all right, yeah, they go in there, they're like boa constrictors. They just like yeah. completely suffocate teams and they've got all the quality to do that, which is true. But then you're also watching those games thinking one mishap, one misstep from a defender, a Kanji, Diaz, and a goal goes in. The pressure that is on that for that team is also another part of it, though, that Maybe. they deal with. Do you, do you know what? No, I, like, it's my first time having my club in a title race with City, right? Yeah. It's my, so it's my first time focusing on them in the way that I am. And, and we, we were with it last season, but I've got to be honest with you, like, when you, when you mention, like, you compare it to, like, musicians, like, when MJ dominated, it's like, yeah, but I could enjoy the products that MJ was doing. I've never enjoyed City's football. I'm, like, watching that, and the one thing I feel now is, like, I don't know if teams actually have a go at them. Like we, we, as I say about the way Moyes is talking about playing him, he's like, well, I don't know if we could be there under 14s. We'll try and be professional. No one fucking talks like that about Arsenal. Do you know what I mean? Like, like no, they, they, earned, they, full, full of flying clothes. Earned. It's earned. I, I think I Jake that. is right though because yeah. Newcastle are one of the few clubs that actually had a go at City this season. Yeah. Mate, what, and we fucking what, went what, for them. Pedro Neto went, fuck it, I'm running behind you. No one else does that. Oh, we had, oh, a, well, we had a go at him as well. Yeah, well, I hope you're going to get on Tuesday. It was 3-3. Three, 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 three. Do you know what I would say? shows it though, yeah. We look back at the Aguero goal, yeah, and we would all probably say that was one of the definitive moments in Premier League history. 100%. We don't talk about the Aston Villa game when City came back. We don't talk about that. But if you look at it, City coming back against QPR on the final day of the season, City coming back from, what was it, 2-0 down against Aston Villa on the final day of the season. Mm. They only went one goal down against QPR. They they came back and won against Aston Villa final day of the season. By this point, we don't even talk about that. But that was because it was their first one as well, though. That's what I'm saying, though. But what I'm saying is when we're going into are we are we as neutrals excited for it? No, not really, because no one talks about that Villa game. And if you look at it, really, they came back from further down. They came, they actually overcame. You got QPR were were relegation battle team that season. Yeah, yeah, Aston yeah. Villa were decent, you know what I mean? City came back in that one, but because the years have gone on and we're so conditioned to what it is it's, now, it feels predetermined. 
moment. It yeah. feels it's like I'm watching wrestling here. But, but yeah. It feels like the outcome has already been scripted and I'm just watching a formality play out. But yeah. Craig, Craig hit nail on the head. It's because it was the first one. This is going to be the fourth one. Next season could be the fifth one. And what? And do you know what we feel as a table? No, this is going to be the fourth one in a row. Yeah, yeah. in a row. And then yeah, next and year we, be and we all feel they're worse this season. Yeah, so how that, deflating but, is that? That next year, they're not going to be worse than they were this season. They're going to get better next season. It's apathy. It's you just feel apathy. Everyone just feels... No, everyone's just like, oh, yeah. I not City so. fans. No, but no, yeah, well, yeah, but they haven't got I can't, any... No, I can't listen to this at the table because look, we're doing this now that things have changed. But the reality is, midway through the season, I was probably the only person at the table saying City is still going to win the league. Mm. And everyone else was like, well, they're saying they're, yeah, this is Liverpool's year. Or Arsenal's but that's year. a problem, Craig. And now that City have come back into pole position, everyone's going, well, this is predetermined. But that's a problem. That's a, like, the Premier League needs to look at that as a problem. That, like, that is an issue. If, like, let's be honest. What, we, witnessing greatness is a problem. No, not witnessing greatness. The fact that a table of five fucking football obsessives, yeah. five people who live football more than most people, yeah. are sat here. And how do we feel about this tight race right now? Give me a noise. You lot would do this if any other club was doing um, this. If Liverpool won four in a row, you'd we feel like... Uh, we wouldn't. I don't, yeah, you I don't mean, do. You if know it was Man Arsenal United. Liverpool, if this was Arsenal Liverpool going into the last game of the season and Liverpool had two games and they could slip up and then it was a fucking goal difference right, shootout, let me we'd be going nuts. We'd be like, fuck, right, it's right. nuts. We're all just like, oh. Let me ask you something. If Chelsea won three in a row and they were on course for their fourth in a row, would you feel like this? Maybe, because, because the problem is when you've got teams winning three, four in a row because of financial doping, you just lose interest. Why you well, I, I, I sat and witnessed Man United win three in a row and that was at a time when, realistically, my club, Chelsea, could have been one of the teams that I feel should have been winning it. Now I'm not invested. It's like, well, <laughs> I wouldn't have been winning it either way. But back then, it was like Man United won three in a row. There was still jeopardy. I still watched all of their games. It still didn't necessarily feel inevitable, mm. even though they've won three in a row. Like, say, for example... And I think this is around that time. Do you remember when Makeda comes on and scores that yeah, goal yeah, against that yeah, Villa? Yeah. You don't get those moments no. with City no. because the game's not too long in the, the 90th bottom, the fucking minute. Do you know in, what I mean? In the last two games, lads, check this out. They've conceded three shots. Not on target. They're wicked. Three <laughs> shots. No way. In I'm, two I'm, games against two mid tables. Yeah, one of them's full of uh, Wolves. One of them's full of Not like relegated teams. They're not teams. shit. They're not shit, they're they're not shit teams, teams yeah, right? Yeah. Three fucking shots. Well, yeah, these so and it's shit. because of Pep Guardiola's rancid brand of football. But no one's I won't watch it. it this, no, but this is the issue. Do you, know, do you know what I clocked last season? Yeah. So it was obviously my first time in a title race with this city team. And mate, I was fucking in it last season. I was like, I want to know everything. I want to, who, you know, when a player's coming back fit for City, blah, blah, blah. And do you know what I tried to do last year? I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start listening to a City podcast. I was like, because I listen to all the Arsenal podcasts, right? I'm like, I'm going, I'm going to be up. Man, I'm fucking mental. mental. I've got problems, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But, 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 mate, like, like, we're all nutters. We're all nutters. This is what we do. Okay. You see, you've seen how fucking Keegan went 20 years ago. He yeah. lost his mind. Yeah. This is what you do when you're in a title race, right? But you're supposed to. So do you know what I did last season? I was like, fuck it. I listened to the, I listened to the Athletics Arsenal podcast. I'm going to start listening to the Athletics. Athletics City podcast. So it's last you and season, like twelve other people. No, no, it wasn't. Do you know why? Because last season, in a treble winning season, the Athletics stopped making the Man City podcast in February because no one was listening. Oh, there you go. And so this you, is the problem, bro. Well, I wasn't because there wasn't one there because no one gives a fuck. This is the problem that the Premier League have. What should be happening right now is all of us should be watching those Fulham games, going, they might drop, they might drop. We should be watching the fucking game on Tuesday, going, they might lose. Get Guess what? Fucking Spurs haven't even sold out the ticket allocation for Tuesday yeah. because no one's watching because no one cares. We should all be losing our minds about this title race, watching every second of every City game. We're not because we're giving up after three. Yeah, it, it just feels like, like I mentioned wrestling earlier. If this is wrestling, it's like, you know when they're trying to force a wrestler on you that no one yeah, cares about? It's like, yeah, yeah. you can try and make them a star, but we're not interested. We don't mm. care, man. Yeah. Do your little thing where yeah. no one's interested. Mm. And that's the only thing of it's like, bad for the if product. when we look back at the eras, I right will back. talk about all of these great teams that we always bring up and City belong in that conversation as potentially the strongest of the yep. whole fucking lot of them. Yep. Yeah. But when I talk about them, it would be a sentence of, yeah, then we had like seven years of City dominance. Anyway, remember that other, and I would be so much more interested, passionate. Yep. Who am I checking? In boxing, in boxing, it's the Klitschko era. Yeah, it's we're in the, the, yeah, we're yeah, in the Klitschko era. Wait, wait, so, I, dope. Wait, 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 so am I genuinely the only person at this table that enjoys yes. watching Manchester? Bro, you're the only City person in fucking London who enjoys watching City play football. No, no, we we all, all, jokes aside, all jokes aside, like no, no one likes watching Manchester no, wait, City play no, football no, at this table. Honestly, they've got incredible players that I love watching. I made like a highlight of Foden. Like you know when you see Foden's highlights of the game, yeah, he's got the skills. But it's not like I want to sit there and watch the whole fucking thing. Yeah, it's not. It's not. You're saying about Foden. You talk about the individuals. I used to love watching Jack Greedis play football. 
I used to love watching Jack Grealish try and beat a man, try and curl one in from the edge of the box. Do you know what he does now? He sort of, he taps it, he taps it, he taps it and goes back to the fullback to kick the ball. Mm. Let's be honest though, guys. We're hating. That's what we're doing at our all-time high. Right now at this table, we're just hating. haters. But because you know, we, you know, no, we have to be... We have to, no, 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 I was, I was hating, hating on Man United. No, 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 we are hating, man. No, we are exactly. hating. I hate no, Man United. Do like, you know what's worse? As not hate. caring, man. Yeah. This, no, is, this is nothing. No, this is no, nothing. We are sipping on hate. You're saying, man United, you're saying, no, no, wait, wait. Man United, you're, man United, you and Man United is hatred. Yeah. He's saying you're hating. No, no, no. Let me explain. Never listen to Brian's right, by the way, because we're not hating the team. No, no, Let me explain you for Let me explain. I right want to say one thing, thing bro. Right? We're at this table saying we don't think this team is. Um, what are we saying? No, They're listen. I'll They're fucking all... tell you what I'm no, saying. Taking... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no. Here's the difference. When Man United would be st- like smashing it up, but yeah. the I'd sit there, yeah. I'd watch, and I'd bitch at every goal yeah. they scored about how great they were, they how much go. I hated Alex Ferguson. When Man City are doing the same thing, I go, this. fuck watching this. I'm exactly. doing now, 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 exactly. my res- now my response. Because it's boring. Now my response. You see the hate that you had? It was inside. You couldn't do nothing about it because we were still winning. You see what the problem is now? You ain't got nothing to do with that hate. It's been bubbling up for seven years. Was it's in you <laughs> and there's nothing you can do. There's no release, bro. So now you're saying, football shit, mate. Mm-hmm. The football's not shit. They're just wicked. And we can't do nothing about it. Until they decline, that's when everyone's going to pile on. Like, as a team, but I won't care when they decline. No, you will. I won't. It, you'll be there. It's not going to be like Man United. Be there. When Man United declined, yeah. even now, I love every time you lose. <laughs> every time I celebrate, I support Newcastle and everyone who's playing. Man as United. a former big club, my two teams. As a former right? big club, I understand what's going on. I know what you're. I'm never going to care. You're Man City. No, you're as a, I'm Man City. You weren't cheating. I'm not gonna you care. weren't cheating. Yeah, that's you different. weren't cheating. But I'm no, talking no. about what they experienced. I'm talking about going into a game and saying, "I used to." Do you know? I used, Man United. As a Man United fan, I used to love watching other teams play. Why? I knew I was going to win anyway. So we like, ah, oh, let me just watch all the match of the day, even match of the day too. This is <laughs> this is this <laughs> is <laughs> shit. Everything shit. I know what we're going to do and. I knew that we had teams be in the like in the walkway to game. In the you tunnel, see that in the, in the tunnel. tunnel, teams have already said, "Oh, be great to get something from here." Or even on the coach, they can say, "How do we lose that?" Like they knew they couldn't win. So I know that. Fe- I remember that old feeling of everyone goes to this game thinking, "Let's just try and get something out of this game. Let's just not get beat." And that's what Man City are in now. I, just, I can't be. I can't begrudge them for doing what we've done. Now yeah. the other teams, they have to make it. You have to make it count on that game. Like it's getting down to the last game of the season, you lot got to do your business. Of course, of course. That's all. All you can do is do your business. If you don't win, it's on you lot okay, because you know the game that you lot. If they beat Aston Villa, they'd be what I just said this a minute ago. They'd Craig, be top right now. Right. Craig, if we'd beat Aston Villa, we would have lost two points in the space of four and a half months. That'd be perfect. I can't make a fucking... But you, they, they are the only but points the you fuck? lost. What are we talking about? They are the only points you no, lost. We drew to City. We drew to City as well. Okay, that's but, the only two. But, but it shouldn't be that you have to be Should've five months of perfect. Who it, says yeah. it shouldn't be? Why, where you got beat by Villa Where are these Lula? rules Should coming from? Yeah. Okay, question no. for the table. Right question for the table. KJ's just raised yep. this. Should you have went for it more at the Etihad? Should have went for it at the Etihad. Absolutely. I said that after the game. Should've we said that. that. They, were bit, they could have done, done more. They didn't play, you didn't play your football at the Etihad. You didn't no, play your football honest, at the Let's be honest. Yep. Yeah. Arsenal did not attack that game in the we need to win this and I think may, like if there is is one game of the season where you think the attitude mentally sometimes in order let, let me just put the, we, we, we build big boxing fans <laughs> yep, yep, sometimes yep. in order to beat the champion you you've go. got to beat the champion like you can't just snatch a decision Well, come back you, through Jordy this is what I like we, we this is the analysis the I was we looking for because before them. it was changed shit, yeah because at home <laughs> yeah because at home you played your football you didn't go we there didn't and your you play our football at home you did. We got to nil nil, and, it, and it, well, mate, oh, you played it more than that. And Etihad, I've never seen you. It we looked like you we... had a plan of playing counter attacking uh, football. At the Emirates, we, we beat them with a late deflected goal after Jacob. we defended for mate, ninety minutes. Like, we, we that is the, the deepest. Let him answer the question. Season. Let Jacob answer the question. Uh, God, Should they have went for it more at the Etihad? That, no, no. Was it worth the mate, risk? Did you get chinned? No, no, because, because if we'd have gone for it and lost that game, I'm not talking about going to the end. Mate, I'm on Amazon buying fucking portable radio so that I can listen to the Man City game while I'm in the Emirates on, on Sunday. I'm not doing that. So if you believe you can't go there, play your football, and you're scared you'll get chinned, then you yeah, don't no. deserve to be champion. They don't that's think they right. can do that. You don't that's deserve right, to Craig, be champion. Man, that's that's right, Craig. Man. It's true, though. So why yeah, do they, right. hang on, hang on. <laughs> why do they deserve to be champions if they we can't do that? Well? Whoever wins it deserves to be. If you win it, look, you got to earn it. you got to earn it. That's all it is. And it could come down to Okay, okay, let me let me answer that properly. I'm not going to look at a fucking game at the Etihad where we walked away with a point as the reason we lost the season. Do you, do you, know, do you know why we lose? If, if, we, if we don't win the league, I'll tell you why we've lost. 
Joe Linton. It, it's, Big Joe Linton. We are in at the back post. Big oh, mate, oh, oh, back dirty tactics. Talk to you. He doesn't Big care. Ride him. <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, look, the re, the re, if we haven't, if we don't win the league, I personally, I think it comes down to this. We're quite a strange team in the sense we scored an awful lot of goals this season, right? We scored more goals than we've ever scored in our history. That comes from a lot of teams like Sheffield United, like Burnley, like West Ham, where we go there, we empty their stadium, we score six goals. We're quite weird in the sense that there've been five games this season where we couldn't score a goal. That's rare that a team as good as us have had five games where we couldn't score. And it's because, as I said earlier, we score goals because of our system, because of team play. There isn't one freak who just goes, fuck this, I'm scoring today, like Mo Salah could do, like Erling Haaland can do. We lack a system breaker. We lack someone who just goes, you know what, what are you doing, low block? Fuck it, I'm going to beat three men and score a goal. Because we play... Pep, Arteta football where you're not supposed to beat three men and score a goal. You're supposed to lay it off to someone else, then make your move, which is a bit of a decoy move to let the fullback go, blah, 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 blah. You understand what I'm trying to say? What we lack is a system breaker. It's a now maverick. That, that, yeah, and, and it's bang on, mate. Maverick. It doesn't have to be £130 million Isaac from Newcastle, who I'd fucking love, by the way. Do you know who was a maverick, who was a system breaker? R- Adama Traore. <laughs> well, for, yeah, if you like, maybe we'll do Javis for an hour. Wait, uh, what? Adama Traore was that player for a long time. He was someone who, you know what, you could play a game of football for 80 minutes okay. and go, this right. isn't working I'm bringing on the juggernaut who's just going to run through people that's kind of what we lack like like if, if there was one player from a previous era that I could put in this Arsenal team maybe not even in the Arsenal starting 11 but someone you could bring on it'd be Alexis Sanchez mm. someone who doesn't give a fuck about your inverted fullback who doesn't give a fuck about where he's supposed to stand at corners who goes you know what mate for 20 minutes I'm just going to do my thing terrorise them Terrorize. so if you had a Dharma try or a, you think you would have won the league that, mate no. clip that that could be the headline <laughs> of the video you know we're uh, you know, no, 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 you know we're doing uh, all of this, yeah. as you, we you filmed this, what I'm trying to say? Arsenal can still win the league. Like, we we're, we're talking like it's actually we, over. Yeah, I know. The but Premier League is a, it's a weird, weird thing. It is over. I think. <laughs> if Spurs, if Spurs it, it's do over. get it's a over. point, it's it's over. I've seen crazy over. things, though. It's Guys, it's not over, you know. It's not, honestly, I've pr- mentally tried to prepare myself for Arsenal winning the title on Sunday. I don't know. You should want to win. You should want to win, yeah. Imagine you you don't win and then Man City lose on the final day. And Arsenal get the title. Then I don't they've care just about that. Yeah, but, yeah, but then they've just won the title. Oh, at least if you beat them, every oh, time anyone says, every time any Arsenal fan ever says we won the title, I can yeah, live with that. As help. long as we with didn't help. help them, I don't give two fucks. <laughs> Why is there a negative? I don't want to help gonna them do it anyway. because I hate oh, no. them. I hate everything They're about them. You could have that over them forever. You only won the title because nah, we gave it to you. You could do it without. I'd rather they just don't win the title. Yeah, fair enough. That's it. 